Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I haven't talked to you guys in a while and I'm sorry because I've been busy with work and also streaming on Twitch, playing Overwatch and all that good stuff. So I thought today I'd make a different video um, showing you guys my top 10 favorite skins from the new Overwatch update which I'm sure you guys all know about. It came out yesterday along with the new amazing map Blizzard World which I've played and I absolutely love to bits. Now before this video begins I just want to disclaim that I know a lot of the skins reference other Blizzard games and I'm not completely familiar with them so if I miss any references or if I get them wrong please forgive me. So yeah let's get started. Alright guys so coming in at number 10 is Zarya's Barbarian skin. Now obviously this is based off some sort of Flintstones caveman meets Xeno warrior princess kind of look and you know I like it, it's not bad. Um, I especially like the markings on the thighs, the face and the body. What I don't like is that there's too much going on, especially with that belt and those clunky boots so it looks a bit costumey but nevertheless it's a good skin and she looks ready to punch the living daylights out of you. Okay, so next up, and you guys will probably think, what the f Hoshi is Hanzo's Kabuki skin. Now, the reason why I picked this in my top 10 is because it's very different and it hails back to that Japanese history and, you know, the legend of the samurais and whatnot. And it kind of gives me Orochimaru vibes from Naruto if anyone's old enough and has seen that anime. And even though I probably will never use the skin ever, I think we can appreciate the detail that went into it, the wreath pattern on the robe, as well as, you know, the armor, the chest plate, um, and the, the body paint that's given to Hanzo, and yeah, even though it's not the prettiest skin, it's still a darn good skin. Now next up at number 8 is Zenyatta's carbon fiber skin. Now we know that any Zenyatta skin is going to be a good skin, but this one just looks so sleek and the green and black look so good in contrast to each other. You can't go wrong with black and this skin is simple but very modern and you can't really fault it. I guess the only thing I'd say is it there's nothing really too um, stunning about it and it, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if this was one of those Overwatch League skins. At number 7 we have Reinhardt's Crusader skin and the reason why I put this here is not because you know it's amazing and completely out of the blue but more because we've seen it in action in the animated short which was so emotional by the way I was literally in tears and then to have it being brought into the game just gives us as the players an even stronger connection to it and I'm sure a lot of you Reinhardt players out there will appreciate this skin. At number 6 on this list is ASP Pharaoh, which I remember everyone going crazy over when it was first shown. Now let's just appreciate the fact that Pharaoh has finally gotten a skin that links back to Egyptian heritage and not only that, it's a beautiful skin. Anytime you have blue and gold together, it's going to look great. And not only that, the symbols, the patterns on this skin look great as well. The only reason that I haven't put this higher on my list is simply because it's a tiny bit bulky for me and I wish that the armor would have been cut down a bit otherwise I think it looks fantastic and showcases Farah as the Egyptian queen that we all know she is. Now coming in at fifth runner-up is May's Echo Point Antarctica skin which like Reinhardt's comes straight from her animated short. Now as expected with the May skin it's very cute, it's fluffy, it's got fun colors and overall it's a pretty good skin. Now it might not be as fancy or as elaborate as some of the other skins but that's what I think makes it appealing in that it's just a casual you know winter kind of skin and I think it represents what May is as a hero perfectly and that's why I've put this at fifth place. Now unfortunately I think Blizzard had such a missed opportunity to not only just release this skin but also create like a skin based off the pajama, pajama look in the animated short if you guys remember that would have been everything but hopefully that comes in a future update. The next skin on my list is our homegirl Symmetra's peacock skin which is an iridescent kind of colour and it's based off her original base model. So it's just an epic skin but it's still very nice and fun fact if you slowly turn Symmetra around in this skin the colour of the dress actually changes. 
Now what I love about this skin is that detailing on the front that's very intricate and detailed and it really makes it stand out from the other um, Symmetra Epic skins. Unfortunately though it is still like basically a reworked version of a base model, a base skin so I can't really put it any higher but it's still a really nice skin and if you have the currency and you're looking to pick up a new Symmetra skin this would be a great option for you. Next up at number 3, and this might come as a surprise to you since I never played this hero, is Orisa's Immortal skin. Now, as I mentioned before, blue and gold look so good together and she just looks like an epic hybrid robot beast creature sent from the future. I think the blue accents on this skin are a very nice touch and the headpiece itself isn't something that is too abstract. Um, but at the same time it's not like something that we've seen all the time and I think that's what makes this skin work. Now coming in at second and runner up of this list is Nova Widowmaker and I know a lot of you guys might disagree with me on this one because I agree the colour of this skin isn't the best and that body piece might not be like the most original um, outfit ever created but I think what makes this skin so appealing is that long ponytail and just that badass expression on her face. She is that blonde badass bitch that you always wanted to be and now you can finally play as one. Oh and I forgot to mention that Widow finally looks like a normal human being so she definitely gets bonus points for that. And to finally round out this list and this is going to be a no brainer don't act surprised is Black Cat Diva. Now putting the fan service aside, well actually on that point, um, people are saying that this is a Lolita skin and that it's catering towards those Lolita fanboys but it's really not, like if Diva was maybe like an inch, inch shorter then maybe. But anyway I think that this skin is absolutely fantastic. All the details are there, the cat ears, the ribbons, even down to the gloves and the cat bells. I think it really caters towards anyone who loves cats and I mean come on who doesn't love cats. I also really love Diva's hairstyle in this, the two um, side ponytails matches the skin perfectly. You know what's funny is when I first saw this skin I actually wanted to become a diva main again. I was that excited about it and it was the first skin along with Widowmakers which I bought after the event um, came live. If I had to be picky about this skin the only change I would probably make is to give Little Diva a tail as well since the mech already has one. It just makes sense right? But apart from that this skin is absolutely amazing. I can almost already see all the diva cosplays and the fan arts that are going to be pouring in within the next couple of weeks. Oh boy. And I guess that's it for my list of top 10 skins from the new Overwatch cosmetic update. Please let me know what you guys think are the best skins, whether you agree with my list or you disagree, which you probably do. Um, and yeah, thank you for watching and if you liked this video and you liked this kind of stuff and you want me to make more of it, please let me know and leave a like, comment and please subscribe to support my channel, I, that would be amazing and yeah, I'll see you in the next video.